I'm Kevin Farrell from TapSnap, and I absolutely love my 419. Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome into Love My 419 on NBC24. I'm Andrew Z, Tracy Boyce, Steve Remy. And Steve likes, Steve never travels anywhere without an entourage. Mm -hmm. So he's got another guy here, and we didn't know who he is. He's got a whole entourage offset, but he brought a guy on yes, set. I've so, always said the best accessory is another guy. Uh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so here's what we're going to do, Tracy. You and I, okay. we don't know why he's here. You don't know why he's here, right, I Tracy? I don't know, you know why. what he does. He missed her guess. All right, we're going to guess what he is. Oh, and I'm going to tell you right now, he's obviously a banker. He's in his second year. He's not a he's not a manager because he doesn't look like they trust him with keys yet. But he's a head teller. He's a he's a head teller. Uh, no. So he's he's like in charge of all the tellers. That's my guess. Orange okay. tie. I don't know what bank is, has orange as their theme color. All right. So, so who, what is he then? Um, I'm gonna go more with maybe computer, IT, something okay. computery, possibly. All right. All right. Um, now you at home, you guys see if you you can take a guess now. It, it's to be like Dora the Explorer. You guys take a guess, <laughs> we'll, we'll pause, and then, then then we'll get an answer. Steve, what did you bring us? Okay, this is my friend Kevin Farrell. And who's closest to being right? Well, I'm gonna have to say that. Probably neither one of you are very close. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> my, my day job is I'm actually uh, the head golf coach at the university in Bowling Green. But oh. why I'm here is because uh, I recently bought into a franchise here in Northwest Ohio that will be brand new to this area called TapSnap. Ooh. And TapSnap is a digital photo booth kiosk in which it's kind of like old photo booths where you kind of just go and, and you're renting like a you know the bulky big things. This is a brand new top of the line. There's about 80 franchisees in the country. The highlight of what we can do is that we are able to, once you two take a picture together, say you're at a wedding, you can, with one click, go right to Facebook, right to Twitter, right oh, to email. Love it. Not only that, we're able to create your own hashtag for your events. Uh, we are able to um, go on what's called a Snapcast. So uh -huh. if there happens to be uh, screens in that area, we can create that events hashtag and then photos from all over the country if they know that hashtag can get on that rolling screen That's so cool. i would say that computer it i forgot so so you so you, you you're a golf coach what made you want to branch out into something like this like you have you always wanted your own business first I, I have always wanted my own business okay so then where did you see this and you're like dude that's the one and how you know there's a million photo booths out there sure. so go ahead what, how, what made you pick this business uh my father was at was at a wedding he kind of saw this idea and and he lives on on Virginia Beach area uh -huh. and he said uh, Kevin you know we should look into this I looked into it there was only three franchisees currently um, in in the state of Ohio and so it was you know a nice way for me to get into the the Wood County Lucas County area and kind of branch out from there so do you have a wife uh, no wife nope single okay yep. all right because I was gonna say you know I know a lot of people in the wedding business you know because because that's gonna be oh, a main that's, oh, that's, gonna, that's gonna be a main bulk of your money here's the downside every weekend you're gonna be busy now Oh. Here's the good side. Okay. There's going to be drunk single ladies oh. around you every yeah. weekend. Oh, this is working. Yeah, this is working. Yeah, he's this just going to yeah. step in and catch the garter every yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? That so, guy with the orange tie. <laughs> wedding crashers when I'm getting paid. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, so, so what, how, what type of money are you putting? Are, are you hoping this is going to retire? Is this a side gig? No, it's you? definitely a side gig. I mean, my, my true love is coaching, and, and I've, this will be my eighth year as a head coach. Uh, three years or five years this is my third year here at Bowling Green and uh, it was just an area for me to you know really because uh, that's a great training, out, dude. You, so. If you can, yeah. if you can do, a, you, you show all you do is have to not show up to Bowling Green naked, and you won't get fired. You put in thirty oh, years, yeah. and then you're then you're set for life. <laughs> yeah. I've always said I wanted to, you know, there, there's show up a, to Bowling Green naked. Well, well I'm just saying, no, I'm just saying, because you, you know, once you're once you're in the university system, then you're you're set. You're set. You have that to, is you true. Have to, you have That's to do what he's trying to yeah. say. You know, you'd have to moon the chancellor to get kicked out of the out of the, the, the system. Not but, advisable. But I'm always yeah. <laughs> I've always wondered. It's like, do you? want to do what you love like for me uh I, you know, I checked my retirement yesterday there's still nothing in it so do you want to be like me or do you want to be like a guy that puts in 30 years doing something and then yeah. you get paid for yeah. the rest of your life well and let's, he's let's, young too. i know hey, you're gonna you'd be sad go ahead trace well we've got valentine's day coming up we have a little maybe a, a singles matchup we could do here uh -huh. with the coach uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. now you being a golf coach have you ever analyzed steve swing I, I've never How seen Steve play golf. No, no. <laughs> that's a different show. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, brother, what's is the name of it called Tap Snap? The name is called Tap Snap. All right, look correct. out for it. All right, man. And can okay. people get it now? Or is there uh, we'll a website be, we'll or be, something? I, I go out to finish all my training uh, out to, it's a, it's a company based out of Vancouver, mm -hmm. the end of February, and we'll be up and running. So hopefully St. Patrick's Day, you'll see us downtown Toledo at maybe one of the bars. Oh, and uh, And you'll get to hopefully you know see what us I'm up and thinking? running. Huh. Official sponsor of the Love My 419 oh. City Events. Oh. I love it. Yeah. That is a great I idea. Right, we, we could start at the Blarney that. and yeah. Yeah. Yes. check it out. We would and, love to do that. And for this segment, we're going to hand you Bill when you walk off. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> in, man. This is awesome. All right, we're going to take a break. we got a lot more to do on Love My 419. I've been uh, part of this uh, operation to bring back the Tigers at Save Tiger Ridge. Uh, we'll talk about that on the way. we got Danny Thomas, musician, on the oh, way. Yeah. And we're going to eat coming up next. How does that benefit you? You're going to find out, Toledo. It's Love My 419. We'll be right back. Feature your business on Love My 419. Visit our Facebook page and message us, Love My 419, or on the web at lovemy419.com. Now, back to Love My 419 on NBC24. Welcome back to Love My 419 and NBC24. I'm Andrew Z. We got Tracy Boyce brought to you by Luxury, Luxury Real Estate. And Steve Rini brought to you by Rachel Michaels Gourmet Popcorn. And we got some snacks. So good. Okay. We have gourmet. Part of the show. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. All right, so, part of the show. so so here's the thing. Uh, you know, we we're everyone knows the story by now. We are a test market for a lot of we restaurants. Are. As Toledo yes. goes, so does, goes the country when yes. it comes to food. And so go their hips. I'm <laughs> <laughs> and Taco Bell, to me, seems like the one that uses Toledo the most. I don't know why, because remember the, the Doritos Locos Taco? Yeah. Now, that's I actually, that. that was yes, here first. That's is. actually, I think, on the menu it, air, it, nationwide it's now. It's because of Yum Brands. They're out of Louisville, Kentucky, and they actually have decided that this tar test market Why is good for them. Why don't you a fountain of information? Right? You know, <laughs> some, some of us are homework. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, if you guys saw the Super Bowl, you noticed that um, that uh, oh, yeah. Taco Bell's running this commercial for, what is this thing called? Yeah, what is this It's a quesadilla lupa. Quesalupa. Quesalupa. I get to tell you. combination of the chalupa and the quesadilla. Oh. I'm going to tell you something. It's so funny. I used to be a crew leader at a Taco Bell when I was 16 years old, so it was like 20-something years ago. Why am I not? I was just going to say that. <laughs> I <laughs> took the words right out of my mouth. I actually had a guy co come in and say, hey, man. Can I order that quesadilla? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about right now? <laughs> All right, so, so this is the new quesalupa. Okay. It's brand new. It's for Toledo only, and uh, as Toledo goes, so goes the rest of the country. So uh, we're going to try it for the first oh time. We God. thought it was interesting. It's now, Tracy, uh, I know that if <laughs> Tracy went to got the food. This is funny. <laughs> here's, here's the interesting part. Tracy went and got the food. She's very mad at Taco Bell, though. She has, this, is the first time, this is the first time she's been back in 10 years. T oh. You know, 10 years ago, she, uh, she requested they do a quesadilla. Uh, Caviar taco, oh, and they didn't I'm take her you. idea. You know, so she cut them off for ten thinking? years. For ten years, so that she she only went back for the show. She's doing it for I you guys. Champagne wishes and caviar drinks. Right? Right. <laughs> no. Okay, so you went through the drive-through. How'd that I go, did. Tracy? Actually, for the first well, time. you know what? I I love the people there. I should not. I went to UT, which is a great place. Uh -huh. um, I sh you know the line was so long, and you know it's okay because there's a lot of people that you know like to eat there early in the morning <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> but, they like, do. But, but the girl who was at the window i got to give a shout out to um lakeisha she was awesome and she served us up some well, we, and who knew here who knew well, lakeisha, actually, lakeisha is a very spanish name oh, so yes, <laughs> when you when you she want authentic, authentic when you want authentic she mexican taco bell and lakeisha <laughs> Yes. Okay. Well, and who knew? Then she said, "Well, I said I'll, I'll have eight of the of the quesalupas," and she said, "Well, what flavor?" And I said, "Well, who knew that oh, they no. didn't even know. had flavors?" Didn't so know. there is steak, okay. there is beef, and there are chicken. Did you know too that the hot sauces they have a personality to them? Did you know that? Well, yeah. Check it what? out. Right here, mild, hot, and fire. No, no, no. But they, but they, but no, no. but they, but they have they have sayings. They have sayings on them like this one. They do. The best things in life are spicy. Yes. Uh, this one says. This one says. I do. Ridiculously good tasting. I'm I do. Your main squeeze. Of course, you pick up the ridiculously one. Uh, right. Let's run away together. These are all. I did not know. You that. didn't know that. Well, who pays attention to that at three thirty in the morning? <laughs> I'm just saying. Here's one says. You're my soulmate. <laughs> Give me that one. And I love this oh. one. This is my favorite. This one says, yes, check, yes, no, maybe. 
<laughs> or like, wait, the best things in life are spicy. Yes. Yeah. All right. Oh, no. So, so let's open these ba bad boys okay. up. I'm starving. I, I guess have some people who go to Taco one. Bell a lot know that. Now, is this your first Taco Bell experience? Because, like, I know you had, like, a, a lean cuisine earlier. Uh, yeah, do you have a lean cuisine I, 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 for I breakfast? I ate lean cuisine all the time. Yes. <laughs> this ain't no lean cuisine, baby. Ain't, uh, uh, no. <laughs> all right, now, okay. Okay. now, here's what I do. Uh, fire, fire sauce makes me hiccup. Oh my. Oh my. So I like we to mix fire that. and molten mild together. Okay. Okay, this is chicken. This is interesting. Good. I always check um, I always check for the year. I can tell because if we Hold don't on. like it. 2013 April. Okay. <laughs> You know, yes. I don't really like all of my food touching. That's why this is sometimes a little bit of an issue. Girl, you are new to the Taco Bell experience, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> Even my kids normally, okay. they, they, they get it, but I, they, they just get the plain cheese. On, on a one to ten, dude, how, how much are you not wanting to try this in your... <laughs> Girl, you go do some That's cartwheels right out of here, break. aren't you? <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, I got a steak well, I better one. at least okay. get some fire on it, I okay. guess, right? Um, team fire, here we go. I'm taking one for the team. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Got that. Mm. Did you say there was beef? Yeah. Oh, then There's that's what steak I and beef. Oh, you have beef? Oh, I have steak. Of course, you got the steak. steak. Oh, He's, rude. He I sniffed want steak. He sniffed that out. Okay. <laughs> rude, Andrew. All right. <laughs> what? what okay. What do you guys think? <laughs> I'm just trying to find the beef. Where's the beef? Crazy, shut up and put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I've said that before. Sorry, Mr. Boyce. <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. Are they going to keep these? This is the probably the rudest. I apologize, people at home, but. Okay. I think they're going to keep them. Uh-huh. It's kind of good. Mm -hmm. Tracy went in for bite number two. What? Uh oh, girl, you done beat me. <laughs> <laughs> that language wasn't very filling. So do you like it? Yes? I love it, actually. You love it? I like it. I like it. I I'm like going to give it a thumbs up. I thumbs love up. Shout. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. I definitely think. There you go, so. Taco Bell. Thank you. All I right. like it. Hashtag Toledo, help them out. You have to do hashtag quesalupa uh -huh. to help out. That's what <laughs> this it is so rude. You're not supposed to eat on television. This is the rudest thing we could ever do. <laughs> <laughs> but it's delicious. I like it. it is. Yep. I'm thank you, Taco Bell. It's a hit. No, oh, we don't have to thank them. We pay for this crap. Hello. Get out of here. Checks in the mail, Taco Bell. Okay. Exactly. You know, Taco Bell, you always pay twice. You pay when you buy the food, and you yes. pay a little bit later on. Yeah. yeah. Or a lot <laughs> later on. <laughs> Yo, ghetto. Yo, ghetto. Yo, ghetto bathroom. <laughs> All right. There it is. You got three thumbs up for the quesalupa. Toledo. Bring it it's up Toledo. to you guys now. I know it. All right. There you go. We're going to take a break. We'll come back. Coming up next, Tiger Ridge. The ODA, Ohio Department of Transportation, came in and ripped all the animals away. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that story coming up. It's a big story locally, and we've been kind of involved in it. So we get that on the way. It's Love My 419 right here on NBC 24. We'll come right back. Feature your business on Love My 419. Visit our Facebook page and message us, Love My 419, or on the web at lovemy419.com. Now, back to Love My 419 on NBC24. Coming up more, Love My 419 in a second, but the first time for the Real Estate Minute with Tracy from Luxury, Luxury Real Estate. What are we talking about this week, Tracy? Um, how about an easy way to add value to your home listing? Let's hear yeah, it. Yeah, and you know what that is? It's so simple, so easy. Home staging. Two words. Oh. I yeah. How like for give us me an example. Okay. So basically, um, and and in fact, there's certain rooms you should do. 100%. If you can't do them all, living room. Uh -huh. You go in. Yeah. Um, it's more than decluttering. It's it's making sure mm -hmm. that your furniture is arranged <clears throat> properly. You know, not that normally you have you know the couch against the wall. Right. You want to pull it away. Yeah. You want to make it look picture perfect as well. Okay. So here's what buyers are saying okay. about home staging. Okay. 81% say it makes it easier to visualize the property as a future home. Okay, that oh, is huge. Forty-six percent are willing to walk through a home viewed online, so they see it staged right online, and then they want to go see it. It's perfect. Staging. Um, so yeah, forty-five percent positively impact value of the home decorated to the buyer's taste. So obviously, you have to capture the audience that you want coming into right. your home. You decorate your home okay. to the people that you think are going to buy it. Um, make buyers reconsider um, the home features. You know, so there's Angel. lots of great stuff. That's All right, thank stuff. you, Tracy. There it is, the L Real Estate Minute from Luxury, Luxury Real Estate. Tracy Boyce, have her sell your home. More Love My 419 is coming up. Visit. Feature your business on Love My 419. Visit our Facebook page and message us, Love My 419, or on the web at lovemy419.com. 
Now, back to Love My 419 on NBC24. Welcome back to Love My 419. I'm Andrew Z. Tracy Boyce from Luxury, Luxury Real Estate. And, of course, Steve Remy brought to you by Burger Bar 419. <laughs> Now, I don't know if you guys know, um, I've been helping out over at uh, Tiger Ridge. And if you guys don't know what Tiger Ridge is, yeah. Tiger Ridge has been around for 40 years here. And it's basically a guy named Kenny Hetrick, and he owns a place um, out in Stony Ridge, okay. which is out route, uh, t- is it 2025 out of Perrysburg? You head out where, Ma- where Meyer is, you know, mm-hmm. out that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and he yeah. owns, he, he has exotic animals out there. And it's basically an exotic animal rescue. He's been doing this for 40 years. Wow. Um, and he's awesome. And, and it's, it's interesting because the o- Ohio Department of Agriculture has now come in and taken his animals from him. Oh, yeah. oh that's rude. It's rude. And it has. It, it basically goes back to this whole Zanesville thing that happened a couple years yeah, ago. Remember the guy that, that had his animals yeah. taken away? So so Kenny has been distraught. He's been, uh, yeah. it's just him. He's just a, he's a simple guy who lives out in the country, him and his daughter. And, and basically, I think I'm like the Al Sharpton. If something happens to a black person, they call Al Sharpton. Right. So I got the call from Kenny. He's like, Tiger Lily. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> he's like lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my that's God. me. That's me. So he he called me. He's like, man, I'm overwhelmed. What's going on? So so I went out there on Saturday. On, on I talked to him on Friday. Went out there on Saturday, and now they've got a, a website. You know, SaveTigerRidge.com. Oh, okay. They've got a, a Facebook page. We've got a Twitter. We've got an Instagram. We've got a whole media team that's working wow. with him because we. we're really trying to help him. We I've kind of taken the lead to help okay. him get this going. Awesome. Wait, here's the bottom. Go ahead, see where you say. I'm saying it's funny that you said that too because a friend of mine that used to be from Toledo lives out in California, Todd Christian, he said, you know what, well, hey, Steve, I hear what's going on. My dad was talking about this. How can we help even out in California? That's awesome. And That's CNN's nice. been out there. All the news media has been out there. Yeah. And, and basically, here's here's the bottom line of it. The guy's been doing this for 40 years. Yeah. He's never had one incident, not even a call. The sheriff's department's on record say, we've never heard anything. About, uh, no one's ever complained or nothing. I've never even heard no. of the yeah. place, so apparently he didn't have no incidents. No, he's had, he's had no, he's had no yeah. problems at all. He's he's a police officer in Wallbridge. His oh. daughter his daughter is a nurse. You know, And they're trying to pin him as this crazy guy that rides tigers around the property. Oh you know, and he's not. He's a normal guy that's just that, that loves people animals. Pay, and do people pay to come. See no, them. it's all free. Oh, it's free. It's one hundred percent free, and, oh, he, and they're all rescues. They've oh, been okay. they've been in the circus. They've been wow. in um they've been in television shows. Here's one that, that bugs me, and I'm not going to call out the the um the place, but there's a school down south okay. that they get a little tiger, a baby tiger. Their, their tiger is a mascot. Is their mascot? Right. And they it runs around, and when it gets too big, they they give it to him to take care of. No oh. money or anything, but he takes it on because they oh they. They, they, every couple of years, they get another tiger. Right. It's, right. It's, so he's so these are all rescue animals, and he's he's doing so a much good. good. Right. He's, he's right. doing such a good thing. And the Ohio Department of Agriculture has come in and taken his animals from him. They, they tranquilized him. They busted in. They've got him in these uh, these cells. Basically, it, it's just it really a horrible situation. Now, how, how come the animals can't go to the zoo though? Is that I mean, why wouldn't they go to the zoo? Well, and a lot of them. A lot of them are older. Well, a lot of them are older, and he's been okay. doing it for forty years. Like for instance, like I, I'm the type of person that says, hey. I don't think I don't think Steve. I don't think because you want to have a white tiger in your in your living room, so you're sitting in front of the fireplace and the white tiger is there. You're laying on the on the Looking fire. Right I don't you're, know. You're laying on the tiger. I would say Steve, you shouldn't have one. Or Tracy. You like that Seinfeld picture. Yeah, or, or Tracy. Tracy, you got a butler monkey. I don't want you to have a butler monkey. A guy with a little. He's got a little diaper on, a little butler outfit. He's running around like a little monkey. Ooh, I don't think Tracy should have that. But this guy has rescued these animals, and he and, and he's got you know he should be godfathered in you know. Yeah. And he's making all these changes on the, on the property. So if you can help, okay. go to SaveTigerRidge.com to help this guy out. <laughs> Little butler monkey. Woo-hoo. All right, SaveTigerRidge.com. <laughs> SaveTigerRidge.com. <laughs> Um, anyway, if the volunteers have been out helping this week. Notes. The volunteers have been out helping this week. Here's a, here, check it out some of the uh, some of the footage of the volunteers this week. All over the world, I've been getting messages from people and talking to them. And, and com- comments and likes and everything on my Facebook page. You know, How does that make you feel? Makes me feel good because everybody's agreeable on one thing. What they're what they're doing to us is wrong from the word go. Oh, this is dangerous. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> it doesn't get any more dangerous than this. And it's still, yeah. This is proof. Well, and this is the Th bottom line. This is proof that the water is not frozen. It's been like this. Look. K Kenny, what about um, the ODA had made some charges against you that I know really annoyed you? Oh, yeah, they're talking. Frozen water. You t you run down some of the no, charges well, and give your side. First it was dirty water, water. Then it was frozen water. Then it graduated to no water. Has there been any chance whatsoever that those conditions were what they were saying? There would have been zero chance those animals oh, would have made it through last winter. Right. They couldn't have survived the ice we had last year if they no. were not well cared for. It's that simple. Your first visit. Feature your business on Love My 419. Visit our Facebook page and message us. Love My 419. Or on the web at lovemy419.com. Now, back to Love My 419 on NBC24. Time for the job of the week before we get back to Love My 419 from Toledo Jobs Hiring. This is a job that you watching Love My 419 at home get first crack at here um, on the show. Now, here's this week's job. American Red Cross is hiring a customer care supervisor in Toledo. This hot on my Ooh. phone. I just got this texted into me by uh, Al from mm -hmm. Toledo Jobs really? Hiring. Yeah, this is like a Steve. I know. That is a great job. job. Now, you'll be responsible for supporting the implementation of blood donor marketing programs across all channels, including but not limited to direct mail, tele-recruitment, e-marketing, broadcast voice messaging, provides Ooh. operational support. Steve's got his phone on. He's, I know. Hold on, Steve. I'm available. Hello. Here's the, the <laughs> bottom line. If you want more details, because you're hearing them first, jump on yeah. this. ToledoJobsHiring.com. They'll have it on their website, on their Facebook page. It's the job of the week. So make sure you go check it out on ToledoJobsHiring.com. More Love My 419 in a second. Hang on. Visit. Feature your business on Love My 419. Visit our Facebook page and message us. Love My 419. Or on the web at LoveMy419.com. Now, back to Love My 419 on NBC24. Love My 419 will continue in just a minute, but first we're here with Jeff Jaffe from Harold Jaffe Jewelers, and we've got this fine young gentleman, and I think you've got a big event coming up this Thursday, Jeff. We do. You know, in, in uh, uh, addition to my regular gig, I'm the, uh, the de facto president of the Toledo Jazz Society, also known as the Art Tatum Heritage Jazz Society. Okay. And um, this Thursday, actually the uh, second Thursday of every month, we do jazz under glass at the museum in the Glass Pavilion. Ooh. And it's a beautiful setting, special piano, uh, you know, it's a really, really cool place. This, this uh, coming week, Thursday night, um, we're doing a special event uh, celebrating love and the color red. It's from and for the heart. And um, this young gentleman, Josh, who you're going to hear in a minute, is going to be one of the featured players. And it's going to be a great evening. It's free to the public, on uh, courtesy of the museum. And it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful evening. Come, we encourage you to come out celebrating Valentine's Day or just good music. So Josh, so we're going to be performing in just a couple of minutes right here on Love My 419. Hang on.
Josh Silver. Welcome back to Love My 419. I'm Andrew Z, Tracy Boyce from Luxury, Luxury Real Estate. Steve Remy is here, and we've got a special guest as well. This is kind of interesting. If you remember last Sunday during the Super Bowl, the, uh, Art Van had a big special to work. If you buy furniture and then it snows yes. on Super Bowl Sunday, three inches. You get you get the deal. Yep. You get a deal on furniture. This dude hooked himself up with some free <laughs> furniture. Absolutely. Rob, what happened? So tell us. Well. You had to buy it on the 17th of this month, uh -huh. your furniture, uh -huh. and if it snowed three inches or more on Super Bowl Sunday, you got your furniture for free. So so you see the commercial, and are you like, uh, were you going to buy furniture anyway? Did you buy well, it because of this? The, the way? funny thing is, I actually was going to buy furniture, uh -huh. and I just happened to walk into the store, uh -huh. okay, and, and they That's told me about the deal, uh -huh. and I was just like, Sold. <laughs> Sold. Hook me up. Well, what did you think the chances were of you getting, uh, getting um, some free furniture? Slim to none. So how much? So you, how much you spend? Twenty seven hundred bucks. <gasps> you got nice stuff too. I've been 20, over this house. Yeah. Twenty seven hundred bucks. So now, so now it was a week before the Super Bowl. Are you watching the forecast all the time? <laughs> I was, and and it changed from like three inches of snow to a couple inches to no snow, and then all of a sudden it was like we're getting a huge snowstorm. And then you're like so what? You're like oh my god! I was ecstatic. <laughs> yeah. I was ecstatic. I was already thinking of where he could spend the money on another room. So so you you, you, you give you a check back or what? Um, I'm gonna either get. A refund of some sort, uh -huh. which I don't know yet because I still have to call them. Okay. So you, I okay. have to call to find uh -huh. out what the refund is. You're having on the it, phone the next day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's later today. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, very cool, man. That is, what an awesome story. Oh, my now, I, God. did I read that they gave up like $40,000 in free furniture? I think it was, it was oh. because of this promotion. Well, it was like <laughs> Chicago <laughs> and Toledo, but they don't have to write out a check. It was like $2.5 I thought it was million. Like two oh, million. really? Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. I just read that. Wow. But wasn't that's there just another one? They just did this, I think. Chicago and yeah. Wow, well, that's and awesome, dude. They're the Midwest's largest furniture. Congratulations. Yeah. Here is Rob Needs furniture. 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 All right, you guys. That's all the time we have this week. Any last thoughts? You want to say anything, Steve? You're taking me to dinner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> Make sure you check out Love My 419 on Facebook page, lovemy419.com. Yep. Tracy, you got anything else you want to say? Um, Lux Reed. Check that out we'll on Facebook. Talk to you next week on Love My 419 right here on NBC24.